Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. I'm super excited because I have all kinds of things to share with you today. So we are going to do a fun project today and it does use one piece of paper um, to make this cute little box. So um, I'm going to show you how to fold that and then I put some tags in there to show you how cute that could be. But this is made with my brand new paper kit. So this one's called Rosy Pink and um, it's got 16 pages. There's two pages of ephemera, some tags and some little pieces and then some uh, pages that are kind of collaged just a little bit. Um, and then there are several pages that are these um, wallpapers, but w without the collaging on them. So I don't know if that makes sense, but like more plain like this. I don't have them all printed because I've been playing with them and using them. And the other exciting thing is, yes, there is a freebie um, that coordinates. So it's just four journaling cards. It's um, available on Buy Me a Coffee for free. And you can go grab that and see if you like these. Um, and then if you're interested in the kit, that is um, on Etsy. So I will make sure all the links are in the description for you. But you can make this fun project with any piece of paper that you have. I'm using a piece that is eight and a half by 11 and I printed it just with one of the wallpapers. I left it white on the other side. When I decorated this one, I didn't mind that the inside is white. And um, I just kind of put a piece of paper on this one panel is white. I added some, some ribbon that actually really helped with the structure. So anyway, I'm gonna walk you through that. And then here's some of the tags. Aren't they cute that I made with this kit? Um, you guys know I love flowers. So anyway, I'm still um, thinking about summer a little bit, but these are sort of in the pinks that could help us head into fall a little too, I think. So anyway, I hope you like them. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so this is not hard. It is a little fiddly at one point, but this box comes together Um without any adhesive to you. Like I said, I did ad attach some lace around the top, but. All right, so take your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and I even left the, the white strip around there. It would make the, it would be a little smaller if you cut that off, you could do that too. But again, I didn't mind how it looked. So fold your paper hamburger style in half, and then once you've done that, fold it up again in half and you do want to be as neat as you can um, and really crease your paper really well that's going to help this come together now once you've done that turn it so that um, the flap th that opens is at the bottom all right and you're going to first fold up the bottom right corner right up to that score line, right up to the fold line. Okay, so it still will fold over easily. Don't go over the fold line. And then do the left corner, same thing. Right up like that. Okay, now you're going to fold the other two corners. Now this is, I'm making this out of a, a 60 pound cardstock, so it's a little thick, not just, um, you know, copy paper thick, but, and this is two layers. So we're folding quite a bit there. So you just really want to work it in. Um, and you're going to do all the other corner as well and try to get it as straight and neat as you can. And it does bubble just a touch right here, but it doesn't hurt anything. So don't worry if yours does that just a little bit. Okay, so now you have something that looks like this. So you're going to fold each of these over just to get yourself, again, line it up the best you can, a good fold line. And you're gonna unfold it. And then you're gonna do the other side. Take this one and fold it in. And again, you're just folding right up to where um, where the paper is, I guess is the way to say that. 
and then get it creased in. So now it looks like this. Okay, so now you're gonna take this flap here and fold it up. All right, and again, I would just reinforce everything, make sure everything's nice and neat. Now you're gonna grab this nice thick part and you're gonna see your box start to come together. So on these fold lines, I'm just taking my fingers and gently working it in and now we have a side of the box here and then we have a side here and a side here. And now we've got to make this work. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab this corner and you're going to bring it up to this corner, just like that. And this is the part I said was a little fiddly. All right, so let me show you that again. It looks like this. You're going to go to where this crease line is. So this little fold here to this little fold here. You're just going to pull it right up. And that makes you a nice little pointy, pointy piece that you're gonna crease. Okay, and it should look like this. Now this is gonna fold over towards, we'll just call this the back, towards the back, and it's going to actually tuck right in there. And let the paper just kind of get used to being there and it will really tuck in nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna flip over to the other side. And same thing, we're gonna grab this little crease line and we're gonna bring it up to this crease line, making ourselves a little pointy. All right, so let me show you that again. This is the, the, the hardest part and it's really not that bad. So. You've got a crease line here and a crease line here, and you're gonna bring them together to make your little pointy piece. And you wanna make sure it's nice and even right along here. And it folds over and tucks right under that flap. All right, I hope you guys don't have to rewind and watch that too many times to get it, but it's couldn't really, it, it really is that easy. Um, and I don't think it's that hard. Now this piece is the only one that isn't super, what I would consider really sturdy, but I made it the front of my box. And when I put this nice um, ribbon around it, it kind of added a little more structure. And then just because I wanted to decorate it, I cut up just a square and glued it onto the back of mine. So the back actually has quite a few layers. So um, we can do that for ours. So the box is th ends up being three by two and three quarters. So I just want my piece of paper to be prob close to three inches by two and three quarters because I brought it right up to, to the edge there. So... I am going to let's see if these little cards. This is the freebie, and they are big enough. So let me pick the one I want to use. I'm going to use this one with the stripes. I really anticipated these being some journaling cards. I used a little piece of it um, to layer one of my tags earlier. But I'm going to use it to cover this. And when you get it on Buy Me a Coffee, like I said, there'll be a link. I did put a little branding strip. I've been trying to do that with some of my papers, but um, I printed it just to test it before on mine. But it's got my little logo and it says rosy pink on there. So, um, okay, so it is the same piece. I was just letting you know that. All right, so I need a piece that is just a smidge under three and then just a tiny smidge under three quarter, two and three quarters. Look, and that's gonna glue on there right like that. Very easy. And it'll give us just, a, again, a little more structure. And we could put a piece on the front as well, or even put a piece on the inside if we wanted to, to help if you're worried about this, how sturdy it's gonna be. 
I think I've got a couple of ideas of how I'm going to use some of these, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I think they're going to be really fun for me to keep tags and little pieces of ephemera and things on my desk and I love it when they look cute and coordinate so I may make a whole set of these um here's one this was the idea I had is don't you think this will be cute to put some of my ribbons and things in I've been um, hand dyeing some seam binding into these really pretty colors using my ink pads um and I th thought it would be fun instead of having them, I could even have like each color could have its own box. Wouldn't that be cute? Ooh. Let's see. Um, and guys, this is super easy to make. I'm thinking about putting some up in my Etsy shop um, on some little ribbon holders. Um, so I may do that, but if you guys want a video on how to make this, I could do that too. I think there's several out there. But if that's of interest, leave me a comment and let me know. So anyway, I just was thinking that, that these would be cute um, for some of my seam binding crinkly ribbon too. I just like looking at all the colors. I think they're so pretty. Maybe I do like them just mixed together. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess than when I go to use them, but that's okay. All right, so I've got this piece here, and I am going to, I think I, yes, I left this out. I got this at, um, I'll tell you about where I got this ribbon in just a second, but I'm going to use some hot glue, and we're just going to um, glue it right on, and then I added some decorations on mine from other pieces of the ephemera from the kit as well just to jazz it up a bit. I'm just um, trying to see, and I was gonna give you a measurement of how long I needed this to be approximately, because I had not measured it before. Okay, I think this is about the right length. Um, and let's see, it is 12 inches, and that would make sense because three inches Three times four is 12. <laughs> I could have done that. I could have done that math. It wasn't too hard. Okay. I'm going to make this the front, and I'll probably hot glue a little bow or something on there. So I'm going to put my, my seam um, where my ribbon is going to come together right here on the front. So I left my hot glue gun plugged in. Hopefully I won't burn myself. Be careful if you're using hot glue. It is um, great for something like this, but I am really good at burning my fingers. All right. So, oh, I was gonna tell you about where I found this ribbon. So when I was in Alabama visiting my aunt, um, I, my daughter was with me on this last trip and we found this, um, it was a, the store, I guess, I don't know what you call it, store vintage, but the store has been around um, for many years, and it's a dollhouse store. So they have all kinds of dollhouses, dolls, miniatures, um, toys that are doll-themed, just about everything you can imagine. And But they also have all the things like to decorate your dollhouse with, and so they had a whole basket of kind of vintage trimmings and um, that's what this was. It was in the basket. And I'm like, well, that needs to come home with me. And it um, was $3. I think originally it was $3.50 when it was new. Um, and it says it's three yards. Anyway, it's beautiful. 100% um, rayon. Hollywood Trims is the brand. I have no idea how it was. They had things that were what the lady called in place vintage. Just she bought it when it was new and she's in her, it's her I guess it was her mom's. And um, anyway, it was a fabulous store. We had a wonderful time. I got some other treasures too that day. But um, I love this pink trim. So I'm going to do a bow, and I did blue just for some contrast, and I picked, I didn't, there's not a lot of ephemera that has the blues in there, but we'll just do a blue one again just to have some contrast 
because you know, blue and pink is super cute together. If I can make my fingers work, we will tie a little crinkly bow and glue it on to cover up where I glued that together and to give it some decoration. Getting hot glue all over my mat. Okay. Oop. And there, there I got it on my finger, but it didn't burn. I'm okay. All right, let me set that out of the way. Get that off of my mat. I don't use hot glue a ton. I don't do a lot. I don't do a lot of crafting like this, even though I um, really like these boxes. I um, I just don't tend to um, make a lot of this type of the crafts, but I have my hot glue gun for when I do. So isn't it cute? Now again, I will um, pick out some of the little pieces. We'll put this little circle on here um, just to make it pretty as it sits on my desk um, or on my shelf. I do think I'm gonna make a variety of these to keep um, tags and things that I've made because I just think they're too cute. All right, I'll probably decorate it some more, cover up some of that white. But um, if you don't want the white to show, just print it on both sides. It'll be fine. <laughs> you got lots of options. Okay, um, y'all, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the freebie. I hope you will um, make something. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel and like my channel. Um, until next time, y'all have a great day. Bye.